Now we want to discuss about leveraging omnichannel technologies for enhanced customer experience. The better the experience with the customer, the more that they're going to give you return business, the more they're going to be there. And as they say, even in the sales world, the more that they will be sticky. All right. And to take us through this session is Ronan and Renich. He is the CX Senior Solutions Engineer at Oracle. We appreciate what Oracle is doing and the fantastic job that is there. And now we want to listen to Ronan. So over to you, Ronan, as you take us through this particular session. We are glad to have you, and I know that there's a wealth of wisdom that we can be able to learn from you. Thank you and welcome. Hello, everyone, and good morning, Africa. I always wanted to say that. My name is Ronan Aaron Rich, and I'm a solution engineer at Oracle Israel, and I'm really happy to be with you, uh, you know, at this amazing event. This session, we're going to talk about a smart customer experience driven by data. So as I mentioned, this session is Smart CX driven by data. And this is our safe harbor. And a bit about my background. I started my career as a, you know, a software development, Intel Amdocs, and then I joined a startup named Genie, which is a recommendation agent for movies and TV shows. Uh, with a lot of personalization. We even won the Emmy Trophy, Emmy Award in Vegas for the best technology for the theater. And then I joined Oracle, and I'm a solution engineer here at Oracle for four years. I would like to start with some, with some facts, okay? We've seen a rapid acceleration in the, in the use of digital technologies over the last year, now, drively, driven primarily by, by the pan pandemic, as you know. So, you know, the customer experience is, is playing a leading role in this new world. And in fact, in just three months, became a C-suite priority. What's clear is that a brand value is defined by the experience it delivers, not just the, the product or service or whatever. So perfecting the customer experience is no longer a nice to have, or we'll get it someday to this point, but a business imperative now. So as you can see in the screen, however, frustrating customer experience are still the norm today. How many times it happened to you, you know, getting the same overwhelming ads across all your devices, often for something you already bought? Or, you know, promotional marketing emails when, when you're in the middle of, of a service issue, or that service agent asks you for, to repeat your information for the first time already? And we didn't talk about the B2B world. No, it's frustrating because our account exe executive changed again and doesn't have my most up-to-date information. Unfortunately, this is the new normal. And you know, today with the Z generation, it only takes one bad experience to lose a value, customer. And we need to think about it seriously. Now, we've been talking about these same problems for years now. So, so why? haven't they been solved yet, okay? And, and, and there's many reasons. And some of them, you know, I can, I can show you here, you know, the, the customer are saying the data is old, incomplete, and the disconnected silos, you know, a lot of companies have a lot of data, but marketing holds its own data, sales hold its own data, and also service, so they are disconnected, and this is the problem. Real-time personalization is complex and difficult, Businesses' processes are too slow and can scale to connect across customer touch points and so on. But it doesn't really stop there. You know, once you have the data, being able to understand what it means and activate it in real time to personalize interaction can be very, very complex and difficult task without the right technology. Now, there, there, there's so many touch points and channels out there. You can't imagine, okay? You know that, you know, Every customer can interact with you, you know, from sales, uh, from service, different devices, different channels, and so on. So, you know, we believe that the problem begins with the data. Disconnected and siloed data is at the heart of the problem. CX Pro struggle to ingest the amount of available customer data, data and have even bigger challenges acting on the data. It's really, it's really complex, you know. Here at Oracle, we have the, the holistic solution in one platform, which provides connected data. And on this connected data, we have a connected intelligence, which provides connected experience. 
Let me try to reveal the solution and show you what our platform is capable of when it comes to data-driven decision. And I would like to make it like, tell you a story, okay? I'm sure this guy looks familiar to most of you, okay? If someone don't recognize, this is Harvey from Suits. He's a uh, playing in the, the US, an actor, a very famous actor. And I don't know if many people know that, but his hobby is a poker player. And you can find him all the time in the final table in the poker players in, in poker uh, tournament in Vegas. Now he's managing to get to the final table because he has some very unique kind of play. Those of you who don't know real po uh, don't know poker, forgive me the, those poker players, but in, in really in, in a glance, once each one in the table, you now you're playing against other people on the table, and each one gets two cards. The, the more higher your card, your chances to win the pot are more or less higher. Okay, let's say like that. Now he's he's managing, you know, to win big pots and to make the other opponent falls with very low cards by his putting, you know, a, a very high bet and so on. So the press came to him and asked him, you know, interviewed him and asked him, how do you do that? Are you cheating or something like this? Uh, how do you manage to, you know, make your opponents fall when they have better cards than you? So he said, in answering one sentence, I don't play the odds, I play the man. In simple words, he's telling you that he reads body language. And based on this, he knows when to bet, make a raise, and so on. And why am I telling you all of this? Because here at Oracle, we are doing almost the same. We are reading digital body language for each one of the customers on the website, okay, based on what they serve. And I want to emphasize this by telling you a real story, authentic story. This is about a friend of mine. He's working with me at Oracle Israel. His name is Idan Dal, and don't worry, he's not always in this position. He is a triathlon competitor. He's running triathlons. Those of you who doesn't know what triathlon, is it's actually swimming 3.8 kilometers, then riding a bike for 180 kilometers, and for dessert, they are running 42 kilometers. This is why they call the Iron Man, okay? And by nature, this, you know, has a Idanta laptop. And by nature, he's surfing all kinds of, uh, of uh, websites re relevant to his hobby, you know, the Iron Man training plans, for example. Uh, other websites feel better, and other website, 10 workouts, tricks, what to eat before the, the training, after the training, and what a coincidence, you can see here on the left side, a company named Supremo has in his uh, advertising, her advertising here on Idan style laptop, okay? And this is not really a coincidence, you know? And I wanna tell you what happened behind the scenes. Supremo, which has Oracle solution platform, now can measure what their advertising are doing on the website. And you can see like 291 received this uh, ad, uh, 159 clicked it, 103 added to cart, and 78 people actually bought it, this bicycle. Now we have all the information based on what they surf on their devices. We know, we can know, we have the data about, you know, the basic demographics, family composition, housing attribute, financial attributes, location, and interest. We have all this data. So what are we doing here at this one? When we take in all the 78, okay, people who purchase, we understand what they have in common, what their interests are. And we're trying to find with one click, you know, we're trying to find like all kind of twins for them. Okay, people that are very similar to those 78 who purchased this bicycle. And Idan Tal's happens to be one of them. And this is why we found it Idan Tal device and target him on this uh, specific uh, advertising. Now, he's clicking on this ad because he would like to know more about this, this uh, bicycle just, uh, he just saw. And he's getting a super personalized homepage, okay? What happened behind the scenes, you know, because each one, all other, you know, people that just buying a new laptop and serving to this Supreme website, they will see all kind of uh, other topics, sport topics. Okay, this is the this is the real shop. But Idanta sees a personalized homepage, as you can see here. And why did he get a personalized homepage? And this is very easy to explain because we collect all this data on his uh, you know, surfing data 
on his device. And by the way, we don't know his name at this point. We don't have his email. All we know that there's some device behind this device is Zidane Tal. He's surfing and looking for all those kind of stuff on the web. So as you can see here, we are showing uh, those vitamins because we know the health and beauty and style, we have the information that this device is looking for vitamins and supplements. We are showing this bicycle because we have this interest road and racing bikes. And we also have this gadget, this watch here, because we know that he's looking for a fitness accessory. And this is why each one of the surfers, the customer, which, which will go to the home, homepage, they will see what's really interest for them. And they will get a personalized homepage based on this technology that we have. Now, let's go further. He's going to the product page of the bicycle. And you can see on the bottom of the screen, Okay, that we actually have all kind of recommendation, and this is a very smart recommendation. It's not random recommendation. What happened behind the scenes? Okay, because Oracle have all this data, okay, about this bicycle that no are you know we found them on 500 blogs this uh, bicycle, and uh, all kind of reviews we have here, and 227 forums and news and social and so all this website are user generated content. Oracle had the data about what's going on with this bicycle. And, and based on this, we understand people who bought this bicycle also bought this and that. And this is why we show in Idantal all this recommendation. And also we take it into conclusion, this, uh, the second party data, that we have, you know, partnership with all kinds of data, data providers that provide us all kinds of data re uh, relevant to this bicycle. And also the first party data, we can't forget the first and valuable party data that other people who bought this bicycle on this website also bought this and that. And when we kind of uh, have a blending of this, you know, data and behind the scenes, we have a very intelligent kind of technology, then it does get a very super personalized recommendations, okay? And he's adding to the car the bicycle and the watch, and only at this point, we actually understand who is Idan? Who is this device belongs to? Okay, because at this point, Idan Tal is a, entering his email, his phone number, purchasing the the product, and at this point, he transfer from a unknown visitor into a known customer. Okay, two weeks later, we send Idan Tal an email saying, "Hey, uh, you won't believe it. We just opened a new store really near to your house." What do you say if you want to come to our opening ceremony and you will get 50% off of every product that you will buy? So he's coming to the, and this is this slide just to show you how we connect between the online to the offline. And, and, and at this stage, every, everything that he already did in the online on the Commerce website is going to be uh, entered and populated on our marketing platform, of course. So he's coming to the physical uh, shop on this specific day. He's showing the host there named Stacy. Hey, Stacy, look what I got 50% off. What can you offer me? Stacy's taking her iPad and scanning this barcode, barcode and looks what she sees in second. She already knows, okay, what Idanta already bought online. And the technology, you know, actually tells her here, what he done style, what recommendation, where to take him, which shelf to take him. She already will know exactly what he done style is looking for, okay? Because she has all kinds of recommendation in front of her. So just in seconds, he doesn't really need to know he done style. She has all the recommendation in front of her. So this is a very good example to show you how we connect, you know, the, the, the offline, the online to the offline and how it's actually all connected together. Okay, so just to summarize this, I would like to remind you, we started with some guy that had a laptop. Okay, he was uh, this device, he was looking for an Ironman uh, uh, training plans, all kind of uh, other uh, sports stuff, uh, workouts and so on. And I showed you how we actually provided them a very personalized homepage based on the data that we already collected. Then I showed you all kind of recommendation, very smart recommendation, better space and technology on data, data-driven decision, as I mentioned in the beginning of the session. And this is how we got super personalized personalization. 
at this point, is actually entering his email and is becoming from an unknown visitor into a known customer. And from this point and on, is actually going to the marketing platform. He's been connected to the marketing platform and we could actually, you know, invite him to all kinds of events. He's becoming a VIP customer. And this is the 360 end-to-end -end solution that I can show you by a story, a very simple story that can happen to each and every one of us. What happened, but actually, I'm kind of revealing what's happening behind the scenes. How do we make it happen? And, you know, this is uh, more or less our platform, our holistic platform. And I want to emphasize that one single platform for marketers, we have it all in one place, the connected data, we make the connected intelligence, and of course, to provide the connected experience, okay? And another thing I would like to end here with is, is you know, just to tell you that the customer expectation have changed, okay? And the question is, are you ready for it? Okay, and we, you know, and you can uh, contact us and we can meet as soon as possible, if you like, to have further information regarding our, our platform. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a great day. Bye-bye.